This is Enigmatic Witchcraft, and I'm Stacy Marie, your Enigmatic Witch. Welcome to the channel, everyone. Thanks for checking us out. The most common tools associated with the element of Earth are things like the pentacle disc and a salt bowl, especially in Wicca. In Wicca and witchcraft, the cauldron is a tool that's generally associated with water and sometimes fire. I mean, it can generally be interchanged with a chalice. So what I'm about to suggest is not a commonly held belief. I'm totally aware of that. I find that the cauldron is a better tool in my witchcraft practice when I associate it with the element of earth. Now, if you're interested in hearing my reasoning for that, stick around. If that's something that sounds completely crazy to you, eh, maybe this video isn't for you. The cauldron, generally a rounded pot, kettle with three feet, a handle so one can hold it over a fire. Most often has a lid. Mine happens to have a mirror in the bottom of it. So the cauldrons are interesting. Oh, and traditionally made out of iron. So we have evidence, archeological evidence, of the first cauldrons being around the Bronze Age. And before that, our ancestors still used vessels for cooking. They were generally um, earthenware, like clay vessels. And in order to cook the things inside, they would have to heat up rocks and put in the vessel. Mmm, <laughs> stone soup, lovely. During the Bronze Age, we started making cauldrons out of metal and we could hang them over the fire our ancestors could hang them over the fire and cook things from underneath. Things for survival, food, sustenance was created in these cauldrons as well as potions. Today we use cauldrons for all sorts of things within witchcraft. Certainly you can still hang it over a fire to warm things up. You can still brew potions inside. You can make black salt in the cauldron. You can use it for a safe place to put candles safely to let them burn out. You can use them for petitions that you write in paper that you fold up and put inside and burn. You can burn incense in them. It's a lot of things that witches use their cauldrons for. The key word that I want to suggest that you keep in mind to have the cauldron be a better witchcraft tool in your practice is incubator. And because of this, and because the general symbolism of the cauldron is that of the mother's womb and the keyword associated 
is incubator. These are just things that I think are way more in the realm of the element of earth than they are in water or fire. And it's made me because of the way that I tend to use the cauldron in my practice. Because I do take the, incubate, the incubator concept uh, pretty seriously. So I'm not going to put things in my cauldron that I'm trying to be rid of. I'm going to put things in my cauldron that I'm trying to manifest that are things that might take several days, weeks, months to accomplish. I'm going to put things inside my cauldron in my witchcraft and spell work to incubate, to grow, to gain strength. And these are all things that are done in the, in the womb of a mother, right? What is the biggest mother for humans? The earth from my perspective. So these are the reasons why in my practice, in my experience, the cauldron is a better tool in my witchcraft practice and potentially in yours. When I keep in mind that it's an incubator and it's aligned with elemental earth. But I'm curious how you think of the cauldron for those more experienced witches. How do you think of the cauldron in your witchcraft practice? What works best for you? And if you could leave us comments down below, that would be awesome and it would really help out the newbies, right? It's gonna really help out those newer to the craft to get a broad perspective of what we more seasoned witches think about our tools and how best to use them because everybody's practice is a little bit different and I'd love to hear what you witches are doing too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for spending some time with me and uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'd love to have you as part of the community. Bye!